Right. So, no guys. No guys. Well, actually, we're almost done. We're almost done. Nag-echo yung boses ko. Nakala... Ano kaya yan? That's Miss Ursula. Hello, hello. All right. Okay. Okay na. All right. So. Yes. yes. Actually, we're almost done. Okay. So it will only take uh, maybe five uh, minutes more or less. Okay. So the only thing that I would like you guys to see right here is the uh, below right here is the uh, time uh, of your circuit and yeah, the time that it runs. Uh, let's say this one is actually not important, especially if you have DC uh, input. But if it's an AC input, so let me just give you guys an idea. All right. So this will only matter, okay, the running time. So as you guys can see, this is a, C, a zero millisecond and then 50 millisecond. If I've asked that, what is the exact measurement at exactly a 10 a millisecond? Okay, like what is the current at exactly 10 millisecond? So in that case, uh, this one matters. So if you want to check the value at 10 milliseconds, so just put it on 10 milliseconds. So you can click uh, that variable. So as, let's see. Yeah, as you guys can see, this one is the IR1, this one is the IR3, IR4. And so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the IR1, IR2, and then IR3, and then IR4. Okay, so at exactly 10 milliseconds, we have here a reading of negative 117.73 microamps. Okay, so yeah, but since we are in DC, we are in DC, that one. Uh, actually doesn't really matter, okay? So it's consistently 100 microamps uh, all throughout of the running time. So zero millisecond to 50 millisecond, okay? And the left side part here is the uh, reading of your first variable. Okay, what do I mean by that? So let's say you have a reading here of five volts and then you want to read the current of that uh, path also at the same time. So to read the current on that path or on that wire, so just click the Alt, and then it will uh, give you this the same icon as uh, we have uh, in our resistors a while ago. But while you're pressing this uh, Alt, it will also give you the power measurement of your resistors. Okay, if you want to measure the current on the resistors, just leave it as as it is. So do not click the Alt button. But if we are now uh, measuring the current of the wire, then just click the alt. Okay, so just click that one, and then it will give you the uh, current on that uh, path or on that component also. Okay, so this one has a reading of five volts, and this one uh, has a current of 0 0.4 milliamps. Okay, so you can have two measurements at the same time. So the left side part, yeah, left side part, part. Bakit naging part? Naging but left side part is the voltage and then the right side part is the uh, current. All right? But let's say you only want to measure the current. Okay, so just double click that one. So I'll double click. Then it will give you the reading on the current. All right? So, yeah. That's it for this uh, tutorial. And then the rest, I would like you guys to explore uh, other components, you know, on how to put uh, or how to change the value of a certain resistor, how to change the value of uh, a certain uh, voltage source, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So, do you guys have any other clarification so far? Oh. 
No, sir. All right. So if you guys do not have a question anymore or a clarification, so you guys may not go and then have a blessed afternoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thanks, all. Welcome. So attend to your next meeting, na? Yes, sir. How about you guys, Mr. Mangawa, Mr. Mabanta, Mr. Bautista? Do you guys have a question? All right. So, mawala sila. Anyway, so goodbye.